Is it fair to make this evaluation talking about the offensive line that when it was playing better for the first few years under Lincoln Riley, he inherited most of those players. He inherited that culture for that particular unit along the offensive line and that standard. And it obviously deteriorated under his watch. How much of it can be attributed to anything connected to him? I don't know, but he's, he's the man in charge and it, and it did decline. Yeah, I think that's fair. The last two years, um, last year, Oklahoma averaged about 188 yards on the ground the year previous 180, but the, the, the years previous to that, their lowest was 218 per, per game. Um, 2019, they averaged 240 yards per game on the ground. 2000, um, let's see, 2019 was 240. 2018 was 248. So you go, you go from 248 to 188 in a, a three-year span. There, um, you know, that's a significant um, downturn. Just, just in terms of of how Oklahoma was able to um, be balanced um, on the, on the offensive side of the ball. It, it was, it turned in more to more of a pass heavy, not necessarily from a play call perspective, but more of a pass heavy um, offense um, in terms of productivity. So Oklahoma needs to get back to and when they were successful this, this last year, they were able to do both towards the latter half of the year. They were able to do both pretty, um, in a pretty good fashion, you know, they, they had a couple of, um, to, to make those, those statistics even worse, Oklahoma had a couple of games where they had over 300 yards rushing, um, two or three games. I know that they were over 300 yards against Texas and one of their better offensive, offensive performances of, of the year, up over 200 yards, um, against Oklahoma state, um, just couldn't, couldn't get enough stops or could get scores toward down, down the stretch there. But yeah, and I think that's the thing that's a, really a misnomer with with, with Levy um, here is it is a very run run heavy run happy um, offense. You know, obviously he's going to be he's he's going to be as um, unpredictable and as balanced as he possibly can. But um, it, it's it's not an offense that throws the ball a lot, and he he does a really good job at using um, using what roster he has. Um, you know, to, to be successful and, and where that where that looks and what that looks like. So um, I think the running game is going to be very, very interesting uh, this year, Mark. We, we, we talked a little bit about you know, who, who that guy might be to, um, you know, to, to, to be the guy um, this year. Eric Gray is a guy that um, didn't didn't run extremely well between the tackles, but he still averaged over five, five, almost five and a half yards per carry. Um, last year, so it'll be that'll be interesting to see what that packing order looks like from a from a running back perspective. And Oklahoma has probably from top to bottom in that running back room um, a lot more talent this year than they than they will have last year, even with losing Kennedy Brooks. <laughs>